action from the other quarter-final coming up a little bit later, but with Sheffield being the home of snooker, time to continue a series featuring the people of Sheffield. And today it's artist Pete McKee. I do art because it's, it gives me great pleasure and it gives other people pleasure too. And it's, it's just wonderful to be able to create something that other people are just as passionate about as I am. One of the first forms of communication for me were comic books, so like the Bean on the Dandy especially, and I, I just, as anybody would at that age, at say seven, would fall in love with it, just like the daft drawings and cartoons, and that was pretty much my driving force for art for a long time. So my dad, fortunately, um, tried to nurture my artistic talent, and he would always try and take me to art galleries, especially in Sheffield, there's about three cracking ones, and it's still tradition for Sheffield, and art galleries are still existing today. Five years ago, to be honest with you, that I, I decided to do a painting it was for a present for a mate because I was skinned and I couldn't afford to actually buy him anything, so I, I did a painting instead. And I used a little bit of scrapper MDF, which I was going to turn into a shelf, and I used uh, my wife's pots of emulsion paint, and that was basically the starting point. And from there on, I managed to get a couple of exhibitions. It just sort of snowballed from there, really. I've been very fortunate to get a, a kind of a nice clientele like Noel Gallagher for instance who, from Oasis. He loves my work and he owns a few pieces which has been absolutely wonderful. The Arctic Monkeys as well, Richard Orley. Yeah, well I used to actually uh, live in a flat with him for a short while so uh, we're good mates and he likes my stuff and that kind of sort of gives it an endorsement in a way that helps people feel confident to want to own the work as well. I was very, very fortunate last year to be able to be introduced to Mike Ganley, who invited me very graciously to go behind the scenes and uh, practically be artist in residence um, and just observe snooker players. And that kind of gave me inspiration to do a little exhibition of the sketches that I did. One of the favourite ones was Andrian Williams. They had a practice match and I was just there, I just witnessed that and I just thought it was wonderful because there was Williams in his tracky bottoms and a scruffy t-shirt and he hadn't shaved and there's uh, Andrian in his jeans and what, and his loafers or what have you. And they, I'm just watching this million dollar game with a couple of guys in their, um, in, the, in their normal clothes and I thought well, that was wonderful. Another one is uh, waiting in the wings. I went behind just before the players entered into the auditorium and they'd just been introduced. And I just noticed one of the snooker players take a sneak through the curtains, um, nervously waiting to go get called in. And you know, and the, the butterflies in his stomach, you could, you could feel almost. And I thought that was an absolutely like sweet moment. So I recreated that one, which I quite like. One of the other favourite paintings is called uh, 1219, where, which is actually ref refers to the time that um, Steve Davis and the Dennis Taylor game actually finished. So I've done a painting rather of the game, but people watching it at home, 18 million people that, that day, staying up until 20 past 12 to watch one of the best finals ever. And one of the good things about Sheffield and, and actually uh, snooker as well is because snooker has come to Sheffield and has been here for years now, the city itself had to grow up and also tidy itself up as well because in the 70s when I were a kid obviously we were talking industrial grey steel city and that's how it would be mentioned Sheffield in any documentary you had. Then Sheffield gets the crucible and it gets uh, snooker. We have to grow up, we have to smarten ourselves up, we have to get a, a suit on now rather than a grey concrete overcoat. So. It has lovely uh, filming locations now and the silver balls with water dripping over them and the peace gardens and nice hotels now and that's, that's predominantly because the snook has arrived in Sheffield. And long may it stay, then we can have even more shiny silver things. Well said, Pete McKee, and an important announcement has been made today for snooker and for Sheffield.